So this is quite a different flybridge boat. It's the Solaris Power 48 Lobster Fly. And you can see just the moment you step on some of the level of detail here. Look at some of the curvature on here and the beautiful nameplate. And the quality of that painted finish is absolutely immaculate. Must be hours of fairing work required to get that. So it's built in Italy. Uh, it's very much about the style. You can see just all this beautiful teak work and stainless steel, table in the cockpit. It's a very, very open feel. So it's based on the same hull as the open 48 that you can see here. And it has the same walk around deck. So even though this is a flybridge model, you've got these really deep side decks. You can see the depth of the bulwarks here and the width makes it a lovely, easy boat to move around. And again, you've got to admire some of the detailing here. If you just look at this deck here, I mean, that's like stainless steel jewelry, that is. It's so chunky, so beautifully polished. You can't see any welding there. Then the anchor that projects through the hull. And look at that. Even both those anchor lockers are on gas assisted struts so the minute that you open them they pop up and carry on round the decks again those uh, for the fenders rather than having ugly grab rails you just pop the fender in there it clicks into place and the cleats themselves are these beautiful pop-up really chunky lovely action and branded with that Solaris Power logo. And again, look at some of the curvature here. Everything is beautifully, beautifully finished. Here at the stern, there is a tender garage. You can get a 2.6 meter cabrio in there. And then you can probably see the carbon fiber poles for an awning that you can set up over the bow sun deck area or over this whole stern. Little plug-in places for it in here. Again, more of these fantastic, chunky, flush-fitting cleats. And then moving through into the saloon, there is an aft galley layout. This quite unusual striped wood, I think it's called Zebrano. All opens up. But this is not about building a big volume flybridge. It's about something really distinctive with its own style where to a degree they're prepared to sacrifice some practicality for the amazingly beautiful looks. But you can see there are some quite big supports for the, the, the flybridge here. And rather than having the full height windows, it has this curved shape, which makes it look absolutely gorgeous from outside, but means you don't quite get that amazing views that you would often get from a full height window in this situation. Here's the helm. It's powered by a pair of IPS 650 engines. Uh, it has an unusual uh, M-shaped planing hull, which is said to be really good in a seaway. We haven't sea trialed one yet, but hopefully we will at, at some point before too long. But being an IPS, you have got the joystick control, so it makes it nice and easy to berth. And I think it's probably likely to be used by a couple or perhaps a, a, a small family because there isn't huge volume on this particular boat. There's only two cabins on board. This is the master cabin in the bow area. Very nice light finish around here. It's, I think, probably light oak. It gives a lovely, fresh, modern, contemporary feel. There is some exposed GRP, but somehow it kind of suits this very simple, modern, elegant, contemporary design. And of course, the ensuite bathroom running down the starboard side. Again, very stylish, big glass basin, very elegant tap. It's Italian styling at its best. And then the second cabin is this twin cabin. A couple of beds, it's not full height, but there is a bit of a, a drop down, so you can step down in here and you can see there's still not quite enough room for me to sit up in bed. So there are some compromises for having a boat as stylish as this, but it's 
not really competing with the likes of Prestige or Sunseeker or Ferretti. They're trying to offer something very different, very stylish, that's a little bit away from the norm. And there is a little extra room under here, just lift up the stairs. And there's this quite unusual technical space, which is a sort of crawl in space, but you've got the washer dryer in there and an extra wine fridge and a little sink. So pop that back down and let's go up and take a look at the flybridge. So there's a ladder up to the flybridge from the cockpit. It is quite steep. Again, compromise that some people are going to be happy to make in order to have a boat that looks as good as this. Quite a small flybridge, just this helm station, central wheel, two or three man bench, and then a sun pad. So it's very much of the sport fly variety rather than a full flybridge, but it does give you a lovely outside helm station. And this is a kind of boat you can imagine a couple cruising around the Mediterranean on their own, perhaps with a couple of friends in considerable style. It's not gonna be for everyone, but 1.3 million euros, you can certainly buy yourself an amazing slice of style. And here is that Solaris Power 48 flybridge. A thing of absolute beauty. What a stylish looking boat.